So, Anthony Joshua lining up his next few fights in the heavyweight division. There's an interview on Sky Sports. I saw it this morning. I think they posted it yesterday. And he's talking about Usyk, Wilder and Fury. So, he was asked about Usyk. Asked about a meeting he'd gone to with Usyk's team. And he confirmed that he's been in a meeting with Usyk's team. And they're trying to go negotiate a potential fight. He wanted to discuss Usyk being um, a cruiserweight fighter, moving up. And he could go on to do big things like Evander Holyfield did back in the 80s, early 90s. And if Usyk is coming up, then I'm the first big guy to offer him a fight. He then went on to say that, you know, Wilder's got a, a great big right hand and I've got a, an amazing left hook. Wouldn't it be a great fight? And he explained that you know, it wasn't clear if he'd sort of like made Wilder an offer or if he's negotiating an offer for his team to make on his behalf for Wilder. But what he was saying is that well, the way I perceived it is that after the Fury fight, because I believe that the Fury fight is a, is a free fight deal, so they fought once and they're going to have a second fight, and after the second fight, they're going to have another fight to sort of like finalize who is the best out of Fury Wilder. Well, they're going to offer Wilder an offer after the Fury fight. So um, I guess, once again, this is supposing that Wilder wins, but they're going to offer him a big offer that he can't refuse. He said, we're going to offer him a curveball offer. So my take on that is that they're going to offer him big money, but also they're going to have to pay Tyson step aside money as well, Tyson Fury, because obviously, I'm once again, I'm assuming that the Wilder Fury third match after the second fight this February for 22nd is sort of like already in the contract already. So for Wilder to break that, he could get sued by, by Fury. But if they offer him step aside money, if, if there's big money in the pot, they can, they can maybe keep everyone happy, you know? When the pot is sweet, People tend to do different things. Um, I'll give you an example. Back in the 90s, when um, when Tyson won the WBC belt off Frank Bruno, Lennox Lewis was the, the mandatory challenger for that belt. But Bruno fought Tyson. So then Tyson had to fight Lewis. So Tyson beat Bruno, what, March 96? He then went to fight Bruce Seldon, September 96. So I believe that they, um, they paid Lewis $3 million step aside money so that Tyson could put his WBC belt on the line and fight Bruce Seldon for the WBA belt. After that fight, I think Tyson then relinquished his belt because he then fought Evander Holyfield um, and the WBC belt wasn't part of the question. And, 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 and after that, Lennox Lewis fought Oliver McCorn in a rematch for a eliminator for the WBC belt. And that's when Lewis won the title and had his, his epic run beating guys like Holyfield, uh, losing to Rahman, but beating Rahman, Zico Maravit, Franz Bofa, so on, so on and so forth. So they could be paying um, Tyson Fury step aside money. Um, AJ also wanted to talk about, you know, if Fury does win, that A, he wishes him all the best, and B, it'd be wicked for Fury to, to get the belt, and then me and him fight in Tottenham. So it looks like Wembley won't be a future site in the immediate future for um, for AJ, but Tottenham Hotspur's ground. What? Yeah, where is Tottenham's going? I know, I know. I think White Hart Lane's gone now. Is that right? If if you're a Tottenham fan, let me know. But wherever Tottenham, wherever Tottenham play, that's where he wants to fight. So last thing, very short video. Last thing is that um, I have a feeling that maybe the because Eddie Hearn and AJ have links in Dubai where there's big money. Maybe they have um, maybe they have a plan of Dubai, you know, the Dubai royal family and the Dubai promoters that they're gonna offer Wilder silly money. So. If AJ got 85 million for his last fight against Ruiz, then let's just assume that for the Wilder fight, AJ may get, what, 100 million for this fight. Let's assume. Or, eight, or let's say 85 million minimum. So what would they offer Wilder? Maybe they'd offer him something similar, like 85 to 100. Because I know they offered Wilder, what, 50 million for the last fight on the zone, which Wilder refused. I think it was a um, 100 million two fight deal. Wilder refused that and we know he's not making that kind of money. So for, the, for them to offer him a curve or offer that he would not take the third fight of Fury, I'm assuming it's coming from, coming from Dubai and it's big money. And Tyson Fury might get in this day and time maybe like a, a 5 million, 7 million step aside fee and maybe even promise the winner of that fight. Because AJ is that kind of guy that he's going to fight everyone. That's, that's how I sort of, sort of see him. And Fury will fight everyone as well. Um, give me your thoughts. What do you, what do you think? Um, do you think it's in Dubai? This money for the Wilder fight? And um, and how do you see Wilder versus AJ going? And, and more importantly, how do you see Fury versus Wilder going? How do you see that fight going? I think it's quite interesting. I think um, I'm going to say this fight, because we know each other better, I'm going to say it's going to be a stoppage. 
It's going to be um, maybe one or two knockdowns. It's going to be a stoppage. And I'm saying I'm saying Wilder early or Fury late. But I'm not making up my mind on who yet. All right. This is MSLB, Master Boxing. This is a short one. Bless.